<laughs> well, hello, boys and girls and moms and dads. This is your old pal Santa Claus here from the North Pole. And I want to talk to you today about something very, very special. You know, I've been hearing a lot of whispers in the wind about boys and girls, and they're worried about old Santa Claus and about Christmas. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry. Santa Claus is still here. Don't worry about a thing. And don't worry about Christmas. It's still coming. It's a long way away, but... So, what I've done is I've made a, a magic studio in my office just for you and I and your moms and dads what they want to watch in, too. And we're going to have so much fun. We're going to talk about all different things about geography and about science and about history and a little bit of mathematics and also, of course, toys. You know, I am the toy master. Now, I call this Santa's Magical Visit. And if you've been around me and seen Santa's Magical Visit, you know that, oh, we have a song, we read a story, which that'll happen in later editions, too. Now, Santa's Magical Visit, in my mind, is what I call a video book. And it's going to have different little chapters. Now, today, we're going to have kind of like little sub-chapters as we go along. Even Santa Claus has got to get used to this, you know. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry. Listen to your moms and dads. Try to wear a mask if you can when they tell you, okay? And we're going to have so much fun. Now, first of all, I want to tell you, where does old Santa Claus come from? That's what everybody asks. Well, i got to tell you, i got to be someplace that's kind of isolated and far away. And, of course, it's cold there, too. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about, if you take a look at the map of the United States, one of the states is Alaska. Now, Alaska is our 49th state, and it was made a state in January 3rd, 1959. And that was 61 years ago, as the crow flies right now, you know. Now, take a look at how big Alaska is. It's not as big as Texas, but it's bigger than Florida and New York and all these states over here. Now, what I'm going to do is, by the magic of video, stop this just for a second. Now, here's the state of Alaska. And Alaska has, you know, its fair share of cities. Now, right up here is Fairbanks, Alaska. Now, believe it or not, Fairbanks gets to see the Aurora Borealis, which is... You know what, the northern lights, about 240 days a year. Now, your moms and dads don't let you stay up every single night to see it, you know. But if it's really, really bright and pretty, I'll bet they go, Wake up, Johnny, wake up, Sue, and come on over here and see the northern lights. It's so beautiful, okay? Now, way down here is the capital, right there, Juneau, Alaska. Now, notice it's at one of the very farther ends. Now, the, well, the real funny thing about Juneau, Alaska is that they don't have really super highways. It's very, very hard to get in there. You mainly fly into the capital of, of Alaska. It's, it's amazing. Now, Alaska, like I said, is really, really big. Now, believe it or not, it's actually 663,000 square miles. There's only 749,000 people that live there. So almost every person could have a square mile of Alaska. But they don't, you know, because there's so many mountains and rivers and forests, you can't live like that. So they live in all these different cities right here. Now notice again, there's Fairbanks and there's Anchorage and there's Valdez. There's all different cities. But way up here, way up here is a little teeny town. That is called Barrow, Alaska. Now Barrow, Alaska has the shortest day in the world, the shortest amount of daylight, and of course the longest amount of darkness. Wow, it's got two world records, doesn't it? And of course it's very isolated and very cold. And I'm not saying Santa Claus lives in Barrow, Alaska, but the North Pole is pretty secret up there. The Eskimos know, but that's about all I'm going to tell you. So just remember that's kind of one of the places that old Santa Claus lives. Now, I can't carry all my toys, obviously, from that area all over the world. And at a later date, we're going to talk about how I do it. There's all these different rumors and theories, but Santa Claus is pretty smart. Now, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to stop this video and have another one right after it. 
and you're going to find out some really fun things that's going to happen maybe in your stocking if you're good, you know. <laughs>